In this video, I am going to show you how to do the IP reservation, port forwarding and DMSZ configuration in Belden PPC 1K14F router. First, I am going to show you how to do the reservation in DHCP. For this one, first we need to log in the router with the username and password. The default username and password will be admin. If you are already logged in with the admin, we can create another user with a different name and different password for managing the system. Also, we can configure privileges for each user. If you are already configured any privileges for users, make sure you have sufficient privilege for configuring IP reservation, port forwarding and DMS. Otherwise, you are not able to do this configuration. It will not be displayed in your system. So, make sure you are having the appropriate permission for the configuration. First, I am logging with the router. The default IP is 192.168.1.1. If you have changed the IP, you need to verify with your network adapter. Here, I am already using the default IP of router. So, I am just logging with 192.168.1.1. Then, I am entering the username and password. This is the username and password I have created with the appropriate privileges. After logging the system, you need to select internet then dhcp server here you can see the edit reserved ip address list here we can add the mac address of the device and ip address which we want to reserve for that particular device i am adding the ip address and mac address of the same pc for the reservation for this purpose i am using the command cmd then we can type ip config slash all here we can see the MAC address and IP address which is already we got from the DHCP server. I am copy pasting the MAC address after pressing the add button. Then I am entering the IP address. Same IP I am using for reserving. Then press the save button. After close, now we have completed the IP reservation using the MAC address. Now we are going to check how to do the DMSZ configuration. For this purpose, we need to select the application, then advanced NAT. Select the DMSZ. Enable the DMSZ host, then enter the DMSZ host IP address. Now I am configuring the DMSZ to this device, so I can enter the IP of this device. So, I am entering the same IP which we reserved before. Then press the save and apply button. For disabling the DMZ, we can remove the IP address. Then we can select the disable option. Once after, we can press the save apply button. Now, I am going to check how to do the port forwarding. For this purpose, we need to select the NAT virtual host. Here we are adding the IP address and port forwarding ports. After selecting this one, we need to press the add button. Here we can enter the server IP address, which is the server we need to access from the outside. The same server I am using for accessing the outside. So I am entering that IP. If your IP is different, you need to enter the IP which you want to access from outside. This is my server IP address. So I am entering 192.168.1.7. The router itself predefined services available. If you want to choose that one, we can choose. Here I am not choosing that one. I am using the custom server. I need to enter the details manually, including the ports and IP everything. I have selected the custom server. Then enter the custom name. Then click the enable button. If you forget the enable button to select, the service will not work. Then enter the external initial ports. That means if we are using any range of port, we need to enter the start and ending end ports. Now I have ended external initial port and terminal port are same because I am using the same port for accessing from outside. Then select the protocol. Here you can see TCP, UDP and TCP or UDP. In my purpose, I am using the TCP. So I am selecting TCP. Then enter the server IP address that means internal server IP address and server ports that means internal server port beginning if we are having a range of port we don't need to enter the range we need to only enter the beginning of port 
rest all will take automatically then press save and apply button now our port forwarding has been finished now i am going to show you how to delete the port forwarding this is i am showing only for the educational purpose so if you are deleting the port forwarding your external access will stop automatically for this purpose we need to select the policy and then press the delete button it will delete the port forwarding thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe